What's going on guys, Z-Freeze out here, and today we're going to have a look at Blade. What's going on guys, Z-Freeze out here, and today we're going to have a look at the 3.0 update leak that has just happened. Someone has caught this video, Conan Exiles themselves, put it in one of their playlists and didn't actually put it hidden for the rest of us, so it's actually been published without them realising. Since then they have taken it down, but we have got the clip here and I will just go through this clip with you guys and show you guys what is actually in this. But just to say that, we're going to play a little bit and we'll stop it at any important areas and we'll have a little chat about it. But very interesting stuff coming up guys. 3.0 is probably the biggest update we've ever made. It touches almost every aspect of Conan Exiles. Fans should absolutely be excited for 3.0. It is a major patch. It includes sorcery. Sword and sorcery. This is the other half of the genre that's been missing. On top of that, we've got updates to the building system. It's going to have a battle pass, a perks and attributes revamp. And shop as well, called the Black Lotus Bazaar. There you go, a quick rundown on what's in the patch. Quite a few interesting things coming up there, Battle Pass, new building system, and sorcery, of course. Um, it's going to be interesting. Sorcery is absolutely imperative to the world of Conan. When the genre was having its name coined, it literally became half of the name, Sword and Sorcery. We've always wanted to add sorcery to the game, but we think it's a part of the game that needs to be there to experience Howard's world in full. A lot of other games are high fantasy games and they focus a lot on fireballs and things that you can see coming out of your hands. We wanted to find a way to make it feel more kind of physically grounded, sinister and evil. It's more about focusing and amplifying sorceress energy. And as you select different words of power, you'll be building different spells. So that's not too bad. When I look at this game, I look at it as a PvP perspective. I, I like to build PvP, but I've played a lot of PvP, so it kind of interacts with everything as it goes. But I'm happy that there's no, like, just fireballs coming out of hands and all that, and it looks like there's a bit of farming with all the trees and that falling down. But it doesn't look too bad. Like, I know it's nothing for PvP, but they kind of kept away from the PvP as well which is good because um, I don't want to just sit there and have someone shoot fireballs and aimbot just the fireball comes towards me either way. So it doesn't look like they're doing that. It looks like it's more cosmetics, like making bridges and just PvE stuff at the moment. I don't see any PvP in there at all, which is actually a good thing. Um, look, from what Conan's been in the past, it's all PvE updates. I'm not expecting much of a PvP. But let's continue and see what they actually give us. Sorcery is broken up into two different parts. There's rituals and spells. Rituals are more kind of the, the crafting side of it, where you perform some kind of magical or sorcerous ritual at a crafting station at your base in order to make something, build something. In your base, you'll build a sacrificial stone. You'll drag an unconscious combatant and put them on the stone. And there will be a ritual recipe in that crafting station to offer them as a sacrifice. Perform a ritual, draw their blood, and then the station will open up again and you can take the item out. Tons of different rituals. Necromancy, for instance, allows you to summon the dead or create undead mounts. A couple other rituals we have are integrated into the fast travel system that we're implementing. So we have one that's kind of a set of teleporter pads and you'll need some blood and some brimstone to fire that pad up. Stop it there before it goes into illusions too much. Alright, from what we just seen there, like there's going to be extra benches in your base that you can do rituals on. Great, but I don't think there's anything to do with PvP, unless when you do the rituals you get some kind of weapon that you can craft, some kind of armor, anything like that would be absolutely fantastic, but it's yet to see on that one. The teleportation looks like we'll be at a, it's a set he's saying, so... Looks like there'll be two, one in your base and one where you want to teleport. Maybe a raid base, that would be cool. You can transfer items through the teleportation a lot easier. 
especially on the island of Zipta, like it's a pain in the ass to run from one side to the other after you've done the raid a couple of times, transferring stuff and teleportation straight to your base would be very candy. So maybe raid bases will get an upgrade with that one. So that's interesting. Let's continue. Illusions basically allow you to take weapon or a piece of armor and apply a different look to it. So if you're able to craft two different pieces and you like the look of one but the stats of another, you can apply the look of one to the other. So it allows players to look how they want without sacrificing the, uh, the stats that they want to have with their equipment. There you go, another PvE thing. That's got nothing to do with PvP at all. It's actually going to make it a lot worse. Someone's going to come up to you in like heavy armor and it looks like they're wearing light armor. That's that's really annoying. When you engage someone in PvP, it's really good to know what kind of armor they're actually wearing and you can pick up a little bit more before you engage them. But if people look like they're in heavy and they come out in light armor, you got a bit of a struggle against you. Someone in heavy armor is easy to catch with a spear, but someone in light armor is a lot harder. So that's just the PVE thing, and that's gonna that's gonna affect PVP quite a bit. Uh, so it's just another thing, kind of next I was not thinking of, and just chucking it out there for the PVE guys. So I don't think there's many PVP players working at current kind of next Souls Funcom. I think it's all PVE. That's so I keep saying in the last couple of years it's just gone downhill for the PvP players. But again, let's go. We've also wanted to go through and address all the perks that we felt were sort of underperforming and sort of give them a facelift. Essentially, we've blown up the entire system and made a new meta. We have some great surprises and we were really changing the way that Conan Exiles plays on all of the attributes. Corruption is a core part of sorcery, so we wanted that to also impact the attribute system. When your character is exposed to corruption, it'll corrupt their form and their, their whole physical being. With that power, you can corrupt your physical self in order to gain access to special perks. Once you've reached a certain corruption threshold, your character will be able to corrupt their strength, their vitality, or their charisma into improving themselves. These benefits won't show themselves very powerful at first, but as you devote yourself more to the void, they'll start showing up and making you more and more powerful. Well, there's a big difference there. The perk system, yeah, everyone knows the perk system is a big thing in PvP. A lot of people make those master builds, and I guess there's a lot more to play with here, especially with the two new perks down the bottom, so that's going to be interesting to go with. And then it looks like a bonus they're doing, they're actually overlaying, so it's going to be a lot more builds. I'm not one to make a PvP build, but I know there's a lot of people out there who like playing around with PvP builds, and uh, yeah, I think you can get quite creative with this. Um, let me know what you think in the comments if you're a PvP builder, and what you think about this system. It's going to be totally different to what it already is, but hopefully... Um, Hopefully it works for you guys, because there's not much else in here for PvP, so let me know in the comments. When we first started working on the game, we implemented the building system in a particular way. But since then, a lot more survival games have come out that have made us realize, hey, we can do a little bit better. Truthfully, I think the old building system was a little difficult to use with the gamepad. However, with this new system, it's designed to be used with the gamepad, and I think it's going to be so much easier for people. It takes all the crafting recipes, all the building items that you've unlocked, and puts them all in one menu. You can go to the section you want, find the piece you want, and it's a lot simpler. Right, so with the building system there, um, that's great. <laughs> if you've ever been on a controller, I started kind of Exiles on the PlayStation, moved to PC earlier on, but... On the controller, you're scrolling down those menus for like a good 30, 40 minutes, 40 seconds, just trying to find the piece that you want, or you're typing in up the top the little letters that you need to make this piece pop up, and it's just, it's just a nightmare. Once you're on the computer and you've got the little scroll button on the mouse, it's so much easier. But this system they got there looks so much more console friendly, so look, that's, that's, that's a good thing, not a bad thing at all. Um, can't see that affecting PvP at all, so 
No, that, that's good. I don't see anything wrong with that. Why not? I'm a builder. I like something a bit easier. I do use a mod menu on PC to make it easier. So it looks like they've taken that concept and gone a step further. So it's good. Enjoy. Why not? The creative mode is incredible. You get this admin panel, it unlocks all the building pieces, and you can create your perfect home or castle or fortress. A fundamental change in how you can build in the game. It'll be really, really easy, I think, for people to, to build their perfect home. Be creative, man, why not, you know? They, they needed it. Um, I think, again, it all just comes back to that new menu they got. Um, I don't think there's anything else with that creative mode, but just that, but we'll see. Some building pieces are part of the Battle Pass and others are going to be in the shop. In the Battle Pass, we have sorcery themed building pieces which are built to complement and supplement the existing base building sets. The main reason we're doing the Battle Pass is so that we can continue to release free features. I'm a strong believer that monetization should be more on the cosmetic side, changing the way you look necessarily and not changing the power of things. So the Battle Pass, you're gonna get some really cool things new armors, weapons, mounts, that are all built around the sorcery theme. There are two ways to progress through the battle pass, and the first is to play the game. Every day you'll be given a series of challenges, and when you complete one of those challenges, you claim the experience from it, and then that challenge is replaced with another one. If you don't want to play to unlock everything in the battle pass, you can also purchase levels in increments of 1, 5, and 15. So for those of you who have less time, that option is there as well. So we won't have cosmetic DLCs like we did in the past with the culture packs. We will have battle passes and, and ages instead. We are going to have multiple sorcerer themed armor and clothing options. Some of them will be in game and craftable. Others will be offered as part of the battle pass or as part of the shop. We're also adding an, an item store to the game and this will allow players to have more of an a la carte option for what they want to buy. So that, that's a big one right there. The battle pass like Ah, uh, fair enough. I don't mind supporting Conan. I'll pay that whatever fee it is and get the battle pass going. But if I have to play every day, that might be a bit of a stretch. Not many people can pay every day to unlock everything that they're saying. Because they're saying every day and then it changes. So you might miss out on a few things if you're doing the battle pass every day. It should be a bit more stretched out than every day. Also... There's items in the shop that's not in the battle pass, so you have to pay extra for them. I can't say how much they are, so it's hard to say, but if they're really expensive too, it's, it's just not going to be worth it. Everyone's tripping out on Diablo Immortals now on the phone, how much money you're forking out for that. I don't mind supporting these guys, that's fine. The DLCs that were coming out, you were getting new building pieces, new armor sets and you know a skin or something for some animals that's a lot of stuff and it was pretty cheap too uh so if all this combined the battle pass and everything in the shop isn't as cheap as those dlcs they're just kind of ripping us off a bit there but um we'll see how we go but hopefully it doesn't go down the road of fortnite where you just got all these skins and they're just ridiculous prices for bloody skin and it's just not worth it in the end, so it depends how these guys go, how greedy they get. Um, could be good, could be bad, but I'm not expecting too much from these guys. And also, it's like every day you got to do these challenges, and if you don't do it, you don't get the battle pass, but you can buy it. So you give us real money, and you can get the... So you, you buy the extra, you buy the battle pass, and then you buy the levels to go through it as well, so it's... Sounds like a money grab. I don't mind supporting these guys. I want them to make more content for the game. And this helps. That's fine. But it just seems like there's a lot more going on in the background here. The battle pass plus the shop. What else are they going to chuck on it? And if it's only one day you've got to do certain tasks, as they just mentioned, I don't think it's going to be great. Like, you know. Give us more than one day. I might be doing something that day. I might not be able to play Conan for that day. Like They're really making us jump on every day, which might bring the players back. But at the same time, it's. I think we're just going to have to see how that one plays out. Hopefully they don't rip us off like Fortnite rips people off. 
I like the cosmetics. I like building. I like putting nice things down. So if I'm gonna pay for it, which it looks like it might be, well, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, isn't it? And PvP wise, if there's certain types of furniture, everybody knows in PvP is certain type of furniture, certain type of building piece. Some you can jump on, some you can like just do weird stuff to, and if uh, it's not pay to win or anything, but maybe some of these pieces are going to be more important in PvP than they actually realize. You never know. You never know. There was lots of things that PvP people find out with different cosmetics that just work better than other pieces. Uh, it may all look the same, but when you're playing PvP and you're trying to find that edge, all these little things make a difference like there was there was a little um the stable doors for instance so i was making buildings hover like that just doesn't make sense but that was just a little thing that was in the game and it was totally different mechanics and you could use it in pvp and you know it's, you never know, cosmetics can really help PvP out sometimes and it looks like sometimes it looks like you're gonna have to buy this stuff if you wanna find that out. And if some clan's got a piece that just helps them out in that certain way and you don't, well, you know, you're out of luck. You're gonna have to wait until someone logs on with that piece or trade for it or something. Guys doesn't sound like it's going to help in PvP, but trust me, cosmetics can help in PvP if you get in depth with the building mechanics. They can definitely help. It's been a long time coming, making sorcery. <laughs> with each new release of Conan Exiles, we're trying to make the kind of game that we feel like our players want to play and that we want to play. So if you want to see more of this, definitely follow our Conan Exiles Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of that. Thank you all for all of your support and for playing our game and enjoying it. And I hope all of you have a great time exploring the world and finding the things to do those dark evil rituals and become the twisted sorcerer atop a tower. There you go guys, third quarter of this year it's going to come out. But in saying all that, this updates for PvE. Uh, I'm just going to say it straight out. Tell me what you think in the comments down below, but I think this is for PvE once again and the PvP people have missed out or they're just not thought of. Um, I don't know what these guys are doing at Funcom, but I think when these guys are sitting there testing the game 24-7, you got to jump on, you got to test it. I don't think they're testing it in PvP. They're testing it in PvE. They're all sitting there, they're all having a good time building their little farms and castles, and there's definitely not a group in there that's just doing PvP. Like, I think they need to work on that. I think they need to get, like, four or five people, split them up, do PvP against each other, start building against each other, Start raiding each other and just see what they're missing out on. They're just not com they're not compatible for the PvE audience. Like there's a massive PvP audience out there that has trindled to pretty much nothing on PC at the moment. I haven't been on PlayStation for a while, but PC it's it ain't good. Like there's one official server that you can jump on in Oceania that's actually worth anything. Absolutely crazy, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. I thought I'd just get this video out for you guys. It's like 4 in the morning, so if I don't sound right, that's that's just because I'm like 3, 4 drinks down. And it's 3, 4 in the morning, so it's quite late for me. But um, other than that, I'm Z Freezo, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Let me know if you want me to cover this when it comes out. Um, we're going to do our best, but hey, the game's getting a bit old <laughs> to me, so hopefully this spices it up a bit. There'll be a lot more new content to come out, but um, we'll see how they go. I just miss the good old PvP days. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time. Catch us.